There was a chill in the air in Taylor Swift's Nashville studio, but the warm glow from the fairy lights didn't help much. While Taylor was getting ready for a fancy dinner with her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, she fidgeted with a loose hem on her dress. Her heart was beating like a hummingbird stuck in her ribs. Travis walked in with a big smile on his face. He was always so charming. He looked very good looking with a bunch of lilies in his hand, her favorite flower. The sight should have made her smile, but it made her eyes itch in a way that was too familiar. There you are, beautiful, Travis yelled, and the tense silence held his voice. You look incredible. Taylor said, hey, and gave a half-hearted smile. The flowers are lovely. Travis didn't hear the hum of her voice as she set the flowers down with a flourish. Just a little something to celebrate the big news. He pulled out two chairs, and his moves were filled with excitement that he didn't say out loud. Taylor clenched his stomach. That was it. It was the moment she had been dreading for months. There was silence for a moment as the ice in their cups hit the table. Travis cleared his throat, and his smile got a little weaker. He started, so, Tay, his voice getting serious. We've been together a while now, and things just feel, right, you know? Taylor nodded, but she felt a lump in her throat. Already, she could see herself in white dresses, sparklers, and the perfect country love song for their first dance. So, Travis said, reaching across the table to grab her hand, I made reservations at the Arrowhead for August. A big party is being planned to mark the end of our third year together. There was a rush of air out of Taylor's lungs. What's the third year? Happy holidays? The carefully crafted picture of their future broke into a million sparkling pieces. She had tears in her eyes, making it hard for her to see Travis's happy face. A, eh, a party? Her voice was rough from feeling too much. Travis, I thought. Thought what, babe? Travis asked with a puzzled look on his face. I thought. Taylor could not hold back a sob. Maybe, you were going to propose. Travis' smile went away and was replaced by a look of real surprise. Would you? Tay, we haven't even proposed yet. One tear fell from Taylor's eye and made a shiny trail down her cheek. It's been three years. Not a ring. Don't get down on one knee and make a heart-stopping promise of love. It was just a party. Being let down was a tough pill to swallow. Once Taylor realized how bad things were, she knew this wasn't going to be the love story she had imagined. This wasn't the happy ending to a fairy tale, it was the start of a tough talk that would definitely break her heart in a way that would make a country ballad famous. Even though Taylor's Nashville studio had fairy lights that gave off a warm glow, it didn't do much to warm the room up. After getting dressed up for a fancy dinner with Travis, her sequin dress felt like a mask for a life that was quickly slipping away. Travis, who had been trained for the NFL, was smiling across from her. But Taylor's eyes, which are usually bright green, were a stormy gray. And, drumroll please. Travis started talking, and his voice was loud with a fake happiness that made Taylor tense. He reached into his pocket, and she dares to hope for a diamond for a split second. Instead, he pulled out a worn-out football that his whole team had signed. The guys and I chose to throw you a bachelorette party in Vegas that you'll never forget. There will be spa days, access to A-list clubs, and everything else. Something seemed to be off with the world. Got a bachelorette party? Las Vegas? When did they even talk about getting engaged, let alone getting married? Taylor choked up and let out a sob, and tears filled her eyes. Tay? What is wrong? Travis's smile faded and was replaced by a frown of confusion. Isn't this cool? Finally, we can party that you said yes. Yes, to what, Travis? With each word, Taylor's voice shook, destroying the carefully crafted image of America's sweetheart. We haven't even gotten engaged. After that there was a beat of stunned quiet. Travis's face turned bright red. But... I thought, you know, with the song, finally me, and all. Taylor felt bad inside. The media completely mistook the song, which is a love ballad about dedication and finding love, for an announcement that they were getting married. They hadn't changed the story because they were so busy promoting it. 
she felt the weight of that silence fall on her. She had tears running down her face, and her makeup made dramatic lines down her cheeks. She screamed, Travis, I love you, while writhing in pain. I can't just go to Vegas for a bachelorette party, though. To get what I want, I had imagined. The words she didn't say hung heavy in the air, a proposal, a ring, and a future built together, one emotional brick at a time. Travis looked like he was getting smaller as she cried. His swagger went away and was replaced by a sly grin. All right, Vegas might not have been the best idea. Tay, listen up. I want this. I want to get married to you. Maybe not as fast as you thought, Taylor looked at him with a mix of feelings going through her mind. Feeling of relief mixed with sadness and anger. Travis, she finally said with a strong voice, no promises are good enough. I will not settle for anything less than what we both really want. There were no champagne toasts or wedding plans at the end of the night. Instead, there was a real, honest talk. Tears were shed, and the truth came out. As dawn turned the skyline of Nashville a soft pink color, they started to understand each other better. Not flowers and fancy parties got them to their happily ever after. Instead, honest conversations and a real desire to build a future together at their own pace did. The smell of Kansas City barbecue filled the air, which was very different from the tears that were burning Taylor Swift's eyes. There were fairy lights all over the patio, giving it a warm glow even though it didn't feel warm. Travis Kelsey, her NFL boyfriend, stood in the middle with a microphone in his hand and a big smile on his face. Taylor thought the party was for an engagement, so everyone was there. All night, her heart had been beating fast and furiously against her ribs, like a sparrow stuck in a gold cage. But when Travis made his statement, that hummingbird fell very far. Y'all know how much this woman right here means to me, Travis boomed. His voice had a Kansas drawl that made Taylor shiver every time he heard it. It sent chunks of ice down her back tonight. Been the best teammate a guy could ask for, on and off the field. There was laughter all around the table. Tracy and Travis often made fun of the idea that she was his lucky charm. They had been dating for two years, and their relationship had been like the ups and downs of a football season. Not long ago, though, things felt different. There was a deeper longing that Taylor had decided to ignore. Then Travis said, so, here's to celebrating the biggest game of the season. He looked at Taylor for a beat too long. Her breath shook. Did he? He put his arm around her shoulder and said, the Kelsey Bowl. The cheers were so loud they were hard to hear. Taylor could feel a sob rising in her mouth. There will be a title game soon called the Kelsey Bowl. Travis's brother's team will play his team. Not quite the news she had planned. As her family and friends praised them, she forced a smile that stretched her cheeks. There was a war going on inside. She felt both relieved and upset in a way she couldn't describe. Nothing, not even a ring or a proposal. Just the Kelsey Bowl. Later that night, when they were alone in their home, Taylor finally talked to Travis. As she spoke, tears ran down her face and made her voice sound heavy. I thought, tonight. Travis, who was always so athletic, looked lost when she started crying. Hey, hey, he said to calm her down and hugged her. Okay, we'll get there. But the Kelsey Bowl is really big. It's our year. Taylor pulled away, and her voice shook. What about us, Travis? When? For a split second, his smile broke. Everything is fine, right? Do you agree that this is how it should be? Will you be by my side and cheer me on? As Taylor looked at him, her heart was a mess. Was that it? Was this all their love story was, a lucky charm on his way to fame? She didn't know the answer. She only knew that one tear had fallen from her cheek and landed softly on Travis's title ring, which wasn't meant for her.